up good people aka winners that's what we do a hey, that's all we do a a a a a a i'm coming to you with another video a hey, coming to you with another video Vicky, Vicky. i want to tell you guys just in case you are not a part of the fam bam now is your chance to go ahead and subscribe join the fam bam so you do not miss a beat so you do not miss an upload so do you do <laughs> So you do not miss all the good that come across this here channel, okay? So make sure that you join the fam bam because we would love to have you. And then secondly, do y'all understand? I don't think you guys understand how many messages I have received about this foundation. Everybody has been asking about this foundation. And so I definitely wanted to review the foundation, but I do want to let you guys know that if you ever want any beauty influencer, not just myself, but if you ever want any beauty influencer to review products prior to their launch, um, and you want them to be on their PR list, hit up the companies, okay? Because really, if we're not on it, we're not on it. We just have to wait till we can get our hands on it. I actually went to the site to purchase this foundation and they were sold out. So I had to wait until it dropped at Ulta. So it is now available at Ulta. Only thing is, the concealer is not available at Ulta. Well, not my Ulta, not yet. And so I did go back to the Juvia's Place website and then I went to go ahead and purchase the concealers. So you're gonna get a separate concealer video from this foundation video but man like I definitely have something good to report prior to us trying it because I totally tried to wait for y'all before I even tested the foundation out as far as wearing it because I didn't want to do that to y'all I wanted y'all to see my for real for real first impression but I will say that when I was in Ulta trying it on and testing it out there were like probably three shades that i could have gone with so i can totally appreciate that in a line because what that means is they have my shade but they had three different undertones so the fact that i have options in my martin voice for undertones yes please yes now this is my first time trying anything from juvia's place period point blank so that's another reason i'm excited and i will say this i am going to be um putting on this foundation without any corrector usually y'all know whenever i do a review on foundation i always have corrector on because i'm always doing that like flawless like beat you know what i mean but I am not about to film. I'm not about to do one well, filming for you guys, but I don't have a live video. I don't have like a, a, an event or anything like that that I'm going to today. So I'm just going to try it without any corrector because I think it can handle it because when I tried it on at Ulta, that joker was all the way full coverage. So I'm like, let's see if you can handle the darkness. Okay. Let's see what we can do. The names it totally makes me want to say Wakanda forever. They have 42 shades, right? And it comes in a package like this, a box like this right here. And it is in a tube. I could totally appreciate that. This is what the tube looks like. I'm loving and feeling this whole coral situation. Okay, I'm feeling that. And then it has um, one fluid ounce, which is bomb, because that's the huge. That's pretty much what most um, companies do when they bring out a foundation. It's very thick and creamy. So I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't need a lot but that's for the average person because we know that Siki is generous with foundation but we'll see how it goes today we'll see because I literally put a little bit on and I was it like covered like my whole cheek and I was like whoa Juvia's okay I see what you're working with here so it starts at the darkest which is number 100 and then as it gets lighter the number goes up I am used to the number going up up as it gets darker so I was a little confused because I'm like wait what huh even the concealers the lighter ones are like 17 18 19 whereas the darker ones are like 11 10 9, you know what I mean and I did get 11 and 12 so that's coming so that was a little unusual I had to totally get my life together when I was like trying to find my match but let's talk about the foundation a little bit it says take a trip around the world with juvia's place and our brand new i am magic foundation formulas from sedan to marisol i don't know if i'm saying that right our 42 expertly formulated shades are globally inspired for long lasting all day wearability i am magic foundation was designed for all skin tones big ups to y'all juvia's place for doing the all skin tones okay it says from the deepest dark to the fairest fair live your magic with juvia's place i will put you know links to it where you can buy it on ulta and i will also have the website so you can you know read more information about it but i will say 
one thing that they where they had me at hello and we're just gonna prime while we're doing this because you know we can just we can kill two birds with one stone we are gonna go in first with the wet and wild cucumber um three-in-one primer base and i spray it in my hand and then i put it on my face bars but it is 3 58 p.m so when i come back it'll probably be 10. I may have it on for like a good six hours, which, you know, with my combination skin, you can pretty much, like I can pretty much tell you if a foundation is gonna work for me at the six hour mark, I could definitely let you know. The thing that I forgot to mention is that this foundation is $20. This is super duper affordable for a foundation. And I'm gonna put it on with the beauty sponge because that is how I live my life, okay? I really don't use brushes anymore. I, I don't use them that much. I, just the beauty sponge is just boom, 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 and we're done. So I'm gonna swatch the two that I have because I feel like, um, Lagos, I believe is how you say it. I should have looked it up before. We're going to do it right now because I'm just that anal. So what? <laughs> Dictionary.com is your friend and so is Google. Lagos. Lagos. So I have... <laughs> Who would do that but me? Um, I have Lagos and then I have Burkinia. I think it's Burkinia. It could be Burkina, but I'm going to say Burkinia because I like the way that sounds, okay? So if I'm wrong, it's okay. We're, we'll all be all right. I'm very picky on foundation. So y'all just keep that in mind as I am reviewing this foundation. I'm very, very hard on foundation, you know, because I'm picky because I know what I like. I, not only am I a beauty influencer and I've been doing this for a few years, but I am a professional makeup artist as well. So I know what I like. So Lagos, Lago. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You get it? You get it? So this is Lago. Now this one, I went ahead and grabbed because I feel like right now, this is my exact match and it matches my neck to the T. You see? It does oxidize, so I will have you know that. I did sit there for like 10 minutes just letting it sit because I knew that it was changing colors. I could see it. Normally, you can tell when it oxidizes by looking around the um, exterior of the foundation when you put it on, the perimeter of where you swatched it. When it begins to darken, that is how you know that it's going to oxidize. So it would do you great justice if you wait and see what it turns to so that you don't get the wrong foundation okay if you are going to get it somewhere and you're not buying it online but the fact that you know i'm letting you know that it oxidizes that should help your online experience be um better okay so that is lagos and then i have burkina or burkinia i like burkinia and so the reason i got them both is because i do believe that i can rock both of them I can rock, as a matter of fact, now that I'm putting it on and now that I'm letting it sit and now that I'm in front of my lights, I think we're gonna use Burkina or Burkinia today because it has more of a golden undertone, whereas Lagos is a little bit more neutral. I'm not using a corrector under my eyes or on my face. Now, I'm just gonna put some dots because according to them, you don't need a lot and according to my me testing it the other day, you don't need a lot. So, but I like a lot. So I don't feel like I could ever go wrong. <laughs> but just so you guys know, I do have combination skin, which means I get extremely oily right here and a little bit on my cheeks, but I don't really mind the cheek situation because it just makes the highlight look like it's really popping. Okay. Now I probably put too much cause you really don't need a lot. But, um, as long as I don't look like I'm wearing a lot, I will pile it on. You hear me? So let's just blend it on with my sponge. Now keep in mind that when you do use, mm -hmm. keep in mind that when you do use a beauty sponge, a beauty sponge tends to shear out your foundation just a little bit because you are using it damp, okay? But I think that this foundation will be totally fine. Yo, do you see that? And I think that we have a perfect match. I think that we have a perfect match. The fact that it's $20, I totally did not mind getting a couple of them. Now, it's when foundations are like, you know, daggone 35 and 40 and 42 and all that. It's like, for real, then I'm going to need you to come out with some colors that match me because who wants to be mixing? I don't want to mix anyway, but I don't think that I have to. Honestly, I can use Lagos and be totally fine, but I figured why not just get them both and see which one is the best. But do you see that? That is really flawless. But we're gonna do under the eyes too. I just want you guys to see the difference. Do not judge me on my application. Don't, this is a perfect match though. Like, 
found, um, companies very seldom can get my perfect shade because it is quite unusual because I have some um, olive, I have some red, I have some golden, like I have a lot going on, right? You got Indian in your family? Yes, I do. <laughs> Usually I correct before I do my foundation, but I left it like this on purpose because I wanna see what this is gonna do. This is the tester, okay? This is the tester, but I'm not gonna put a lot because I usually don't put matte under my eye. So here we go. So we're just gonna put her under here. And I never do this, y'all. I never just use a foundation under my eye. I always go with a corrector because when I use a corrector, it, it neutralizes the darkness because sometimes when I don't, not sometimes, but most of the time when I don't use a corrector, it still gives that ashy look, but this has really covered up my dark circles. So if you literally, oh my gosh, I don't need to I don't even need a corrector with this foundation. I literally can just go straight to foundation and then put on a concealer if I wanted to. And I think I will do that today just to brighten it up a little bit. This is nice. I cannot wait to see how it's going to hold up. I just have to remember not to put a setting spray because we're doing a first impression. It totally neutralized everything under there. Do y'all see that? I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm pretty impressed. But here it is and it does not, it is very, very creamy. It takes a lot for it to move, okay? So I am just going to like blend it out. Look at how creamy it is and how thick it is. But look at the coverage. I'm telling you guys, you can tell when something is full coverage when the opacity is not compromised when you blend it out over your hand. And you see as I'm blending and blending and blending, it is still opaque. When I was online, I totally forgot to get the setting powder and they did not have it at Ulta. They didn't have the concealer or the setting powder. So I am gonna be using my CoverGirl um, foundation or um, CoverGirl powder. It is in FS310 Tan Golden. I'm just going to set all over my face per the use and then I'm gonna contour. But as I told you guys, I want you to see how it looks with me setting with powder. Now, could you get away without setting this foundation with powder? Probably, but my combination skin, I'm not, ooh, see, that's why I can't do it. My combination skin, I don't, I don't even try it. Never do I try that, mm, mm So I am back, I have on some earrings now, as you can see, and I popped on a nude lippy, and you can find this concoction in my most recent video that I did on my favorite lipsticks. I did nude lipsticks and I did other lipsticks. Bam, and there she is. So I just wanted to show you guys close up here is under the eye. It does not take long for me to crease at all. Um, so yeah, I probably need to set that again before I leave. But there is how the foundation looks all the way close up. Now you can see my pores a little bit, but, and it is a little warm in here, girl. It's a little warm in here. So I feel like I'm starting to get hot. I need to open these doors, baby. But that is what the foundation is looking like close up. Hey, people, hey, hey, I'm back. Do y'all see that? It says 1240. It is 12.40 in the a.m. That is not the p.m. So I did not expect to have it on this long, but it kind of worked out. And let me tell you something. We had church tonight, girl, and I was kind of sweating and everything. So listen, I had a full night. I was sweating, and this is what it looks like after all that time. Eight hours. I've had this on for eight hours, and I am glistening a little bit, if you can see, right? So that is what she's looking like up close. I forgot to put on a highlighter and a blush. Girl, I'm looking real like natural, but look at, I got my own little highlight now with all that oil. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is, listen, I'm not about to get on my other camera because it's almost one in the morning and I still have to wash this makeup off. So this is going to be the outro, boo. Okay. <laughs> did I call y'all boo? I did. Chin. Cause I just want to see, let's just do one side. It's totally going to change the color of the camera. Sorry about that. Lately, I've been getting really oily right there. Look at, so the pores, I do not like the way the pores are coming through, you know, but I've had this on for like eight hours. And so I do need to get a pore filling, um, um, a pore filling primer as well as I need to do my face mask because I haven't been doing it um, weekly like I usually do. And so that affects your pores too, your skincare regimen. So I do need to get back on that because I've been slipping a little bit. I love that it's full coverage. I love that it's flawless. It still has that natural finish. 
it still has that natural finish, but I think I do like corrector in my life at the end of the day. But then again, I had this on for eight hours and I probably need some rest and more water for them under eyes. Cause y'all know that, and that has nothing to do with the foundation. Nothing, nada. Um, that's just me. But according to them, I am 400 in Fenty Beauty, right? But you guys know, I told you that is not my like exact, exact match. But according to their chart, the 400 Fenty Beauty is um, is equivalent to their Gabon. And that is the color that I was going to get originally, but I'm so glad that I didn't. For Kenya is 390, but 390 in Fenty is too light for me. So I don't know how accurate that spreadsheet is. That is it for this video, you guys. If you are not subscribed to the family, please join the fam bam because we would love to have you here. And um, I will be doing the concealer as soon as it arrives. And it's always, you know, some good stuff coming on the channel, whether it's a back to the basics, whether it's a lip swatch, whether it's a just me chit chatting with you. Okay. And you guys have an awesome blessed day. In my case, well, no, it is day because it's all the way in the morning already, but have a blessed and awesome day. All right. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Me, confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.